amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I need today. I wish I had wings. Literally, I would be, you know, like just flying because of the excitement, the honor. It is such an amazing moment right about now. You may not feel the presence just yet, but trust you me, as we get into our talks today with Miss Lydia, you'll be able to actually understand why I am just so honored and I'm, you know, like just amazed to be in her presence right now ladies and gentlemen she is our guest for the day allow me to give you know just a very special you know introduction she is the ceo lydia is the ceo and uh, co-founder at Din uh, dynasty music she is head of logistics head of voice coaching head of artist mentorship in aito jenga msani head of record label Head of Charity in Big Dada, Gospel Minister, Singer and Artist, Songwriter, Composer and Arranger. Yani, come about all that jua, why I'm so excited. Hey, we, ni kava yon ezas kuskia umeito na, you know, MCA we, no, ara tu siende ati kwa MCA, tuende kwa governor, exactly. Imagine how many hearts she is balancing and she has found time to be with us today. Thank you so, so much. Thank Karibu you. sana. Thank you for having me. Asante. Karibu sana. Thank Imagine you. Imagine, see how humble she is. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, yeah. so cool. Mm -hmm. Yani, right now, Ebuch got your lesson ya kwanza. Humility is key. <laughs> as much as God has lifted you up there, please stay humble for him to continue lifting you up. Yeah. All right. Sawa, yes. sawa. <laughs> so, <coughs> yes, I'm going to introduction <laughs> based on the profile, but would love to hear from you personally. How would you wish to introduce yourself? My name is Lydia Ndwiga. I'm a Yesu I'm a Nibwana. I'm a Yesu I'm a Yani God has just been amazing. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, there's nothing else that comes after it. Wow. Everything else, ni adunia, mtacha, papa, tu. Yes. Na tutenda sote mbinguni, tuanze kukua na malaika, and we as, if, as we praising God. But more than that, mm -hmm. he has given me the opportunity to be a vocal coach, mm -hmm. to mentor artists, mm -hmm. as you have seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, a CEO of Dynasty Music. Mm -hmm. I am a co-founder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a company, it's a music-based company that we started with Mafia and say, hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, we thought, um, since we've all had the experience in the music industry mm -hmm. and we want to bring something good into the music industry, mm -hmm. we thought to start uh, a company that would just do everything that an artist needs. But mm -hmm. our main place is uh, artist mentorship mm -hmm. so that you know from the beginning as an artist there are some things you need. Mm -hmm. And after you've recorded, then what comes after that? Because mm -hmm. then again, I realized even for me as uh, when I was starting off, there was a lot of difficulties. Now what do I do? Whom do I look for? Who will help and stuff like that? So I don't want any other artist to go through that Amazing. so even for now even even though we are not be, being able to go full circle yes. we have people who we know that can help mm. so we I, I absolutely do not want to see any upcoming artist going through what I had to go through wow. yeah so profound guys you better be tuning in because man this is basically for you like you know as we had started the show you know Nick's went ahead and said if there is one thing he is grateful for it's JC circle show because we have the platform to nurture talent and to be able to showcase talent and God has given us the opportunity now to be able to have one-on-one -on -one, you know with voice coach Yani, someone that can be able to help you, someone can be able to just, with her own experience, what she went through, she wouldn't want, she wouldn't wish for you to actually go through. Yale majaribu na kazingumu alipitia to be who she is today. Tune in right now. Even if you're not, you know, an upcoming artist, but you know someone who is, you know, zealous to do that. Ebuskia and utendelea kum educate na kum All right, so we come back to you. Yes. Uh, I just want us to talk, right? And we are just going to keep it real. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, let's touch that spiritual person, Lydia. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> all right. So how long have you been in this journey uh, as a gospel artist? Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, um, how long has Dynasty been in existence? Uh, first of all, Dynasty is actually celebrating one year this oh, month so yay so we, yeah we thank god for the milestones that we've gone through it was one of those things that you're thinking should i should i not should i no but this industry is harder why am i even giving myself more work but then again i felt led mm -hmm. because then again uh, we've been constantly complaining about stuff in the industry and i mm -hmm. thought how about we be the ones to come in because we have 
what it takes, I believe. So let's just make the difference. And then uh, being a gospel minister, I think I have been a gospel minister all my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just that we not, we're not on TV, we're not releasing videos, we're not releasing music. Mm -hmm. But I believe at the point when God creates you, he has put you in the world to be a gospel minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, in terms of when did I start doing it musically, I started thinking at a very tender age, but now getting out into the masses and doing videos and releasing music. I think my first song I recorded in 2009, but now getting serious about it, that was some time last year. Okay. Yes, last year, February, when I released Monday to Monday. Well, there's a this Kwak and Salama cover that I had done earlier, mm -hmm. but uh, that was 2017, and you're still not really uh, in the game, and you're not really dedicated to it. Yeah. But yeah, let's just say since last year, February. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't forget, I've been a gospel minister all my yeah, life. all your life, <laughs> absolutely. And yes. that is key, by the way, because mm -hmm. it's it's the fire in you that yes. keeps propelling you to do more and wanting to do more and make That's an true. impact mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Amen. So which leads us now to the next uh, aspect. Uh -huh. In this particular case, I really appreciate the fact that you, 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 you're compassionate about the struggles that you went through and you didn't want to see, you know, another artist going through the same. Mm -hmm. Hence that desire to make a difference in, in their lives through training and mentorship programs. Yes. So now, um, at Dynasty, do you guys record, you know, like music artists, do you record songs or... Uh, we haven't started that yet. Okay. We're still believing in God for resources to come through. However, okay. because uh, Dynasty Music is a music consultation center, okay. we can refer you to the people mm -hmm. we work with. And believe me, they're good. Yeah, good. God brought us an amazing team. So I can yeah. always refer you to someone. If you need video, we can always refer you to the best that you can ever work with. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's mm -hmm. where we are at it now. Okay. But then again, because I have been an artist in a recording uh, a studio, mm -hmm. I know what it takes and what it, 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 you, it you need to get into studio. So mm -hmm. definitely that will be something that will have to to do before you walk into the studio and then yes. I'll, 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 I'll refer you to the people that you can work with. with yes, but hopefully in good time, we'll start now okay. settling in and doing everything in house. Okay. Yes. So there's this concern, um, you know, uh, music addicts you know, are actually going through in the sense that, you know, you, you want to have some sort of like cover. You know, some bearing, some place where you can say, I belong to this particular team. Because we all know you cannot do it alone. That's true. And so you identify yourself with like, you know, a certain stable and mm -hmm. you're there working mm -hmm. with them and everything. But then it, it so happens that, say for example, you know, it's a stable and you feel like, hey, my vision where I want God to lead me is not, you know, telling with what the stable wants. Mm -hmm. And so you want to come out. Yes, you have a contract and everything. And there's a clause. You mm. want to respect that clause and mm. everything. Mm. But now it reaches a point where you lose your copyrights as an artist. How does one deal with such a situation? Um, it might sound like a cliche, but I usually tell people, please pray first. Mm -hmm. Ask God where he wants to take you. Because I know there are companies that have messed people up really good. Mm -hmm. And they basically give up. Mm -hmm. But I usually tell people the first thing as an artist you need to have is a vision. Mm -hmm. Why are you in this? Are you in it for money? Mm -hmm. Are you in it to minister? Mm -hmm. Or are you in it because mommy said so? Mm -hmm. And that's the first question I usually ask my artists. Are mm -hmm. you here because you want to make money or because you want to minister? Or if in the secular world, why are you doing it then again? Are mm -hmm. you because it's a passion? Yes. Or is it because someone told you, oh, you can make money from music? Mm -hmm. Now you realize that once you have a vision, there's no time that you will go to a place that is not meeting your vision necessities. Yes. Yeah. So if you go to a company that is, or if you go to a marketing people that are not uh, uh, living with your vision, don't go there. Yes. So don't be don't be too quick to jump into something that mm -hmm. you're not sure what it's about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know the issue about uh, losing copyrights and stuff like that. I, uh, it's a murky area. Yeah. Yeah, so I usually tell uh, artists, if you're getting into that direction, please make sure you have a lawyer. Mm. I know sometimes you don't have the money and whatnot, but just find someone to advise you. Yeah. Before you sign that contract, yes. have someone, at least send it to someone who you could think, you can now call us. Maybe yes. we can refer you to a few lawyers mm. who can just go through the contract mm. and maybe at a small fee or maybe at none. Mm. I know the people who just want to go through the contract and read it for you and then tell you what it is. Mm. Because most of us, we are told, sign here, sign here, sign here. We I don't know. read the contract. Yes. Now, when you read it, and sometimes you might not understand it because then again, maybe you have not done that uh, legality and stuff. Yes. 
ask someone to do it for you mm -hmm. look for someone even randomly just go to facebook and find who are the lawyers that you can and you never know someone might be just willing to help mm -hmm. so just don't join something that you're not sure of you could be getting into a cult and you don't know yes yeah very, very so true. first of all do your research find out what your vision and your mission and your goals are if mm -hmm. they're not meeting them mm -hmm. leave it i mean god always has a, a way of taking you to the right places and mm -hmm. the only way he can do that is if you're sure that the vision that he placed in you is what is in the company that you want that to you work want with to. but oh. the first thing prayer pray mm. go on your knees fast mm. do whatever it needs to do and god will, will lead you into the right places amen yeah. thank you so much for that advice so we come back to you miss lydia yes yes um <laughs> hmm. as a you know voice coach of course mentor uh -huh. um there is one thing that stands <laughs> out uh -huh. that you are actually a background vocalist and uh, from your profile, you yeah. know, um, <laughs> <coughs> I know where uh, this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So from your profile, mm -hmm. you have, you know, worked with amazing, amazing, you know, um, artists that are honored <laughs> in this country. <laughs> You're looking at them funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm don't contemplating know whether I should read the names or not. Yeah. But in actual sense, I will omit the names. But the thing yeah. is, um, you know, um, they're definitely secular artists. Yes. You know, very profound secular artists you know and and uh you know they stand out like they're they're among the when i say manga maguiji we wadao yes they call them wadao <laughs> in this particular country mm -hmm. and even beyond you know the borders how did that come about and you as a christian uh and gospel artist mm -hmm. I'm sure may receive bashes <laughs> mob when that is concerned. Oh, so yeah. tell us a little bit about that and how you know are you handling that? The city is getting hotter. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, well, the first thing I need to tell you is that I stopped being a BGV. Okay. Yeah. I. Um, it's not that it's an inferior place to be. I learned a lot from that. Okay. But I think it comes a point when God moves you to somewhere different. Mm -hmm. And you have, because I knew if I keep being a BGV, then again, I won't do ministry. Mm -hmm. I knew I was comfortable there. There's good money. There's a lot of gigs coming along. So, hey, let me just do BGVs. But I knew God was taking me away from there so mm -hmm. that I can get into the ministry. Mm -hmm. Now, I have been asked a lot of questions. You're a voice coach. You work with secular artists. You've been there before. I think at, at, the, at the point where you don't um, understand fully what God's calling in your life is, you yes. will go everywhere. Yes. And I won't lie. I was in a position for I need to make money. I need to be known. I need people to know me. I need yes. contacts. I need whatnot. So I tried to get involved with everything. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> maybe uh, uh, I needed to know what God's firm calling was for me. I'm not saying it was a bad experience. Mm -hmm. It was a really good experience. I got a lot of uh, experience and it was good experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but let's just say um, I am out of that life. It's, it's a season that's yeah, gone. It's a season cool. that is gone. And mm -hmm. I think God also wanted me to learn a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Then again, you have to realize that when you go into a secular place, you have been anointed to bring something different Hallelujah. in that place. So you don't leave it different, then it means that the anointing in you was not well manifested yes i have been asked about why are you training vocal uh, i mean why are you uh, vocally training secular artists and i'm like okay so who will train them mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but there's one thing i always tell secular artists we are not doing those bend over yeah. beer kind of songs no yes. i will choose a song i'm going to teach you with mm -hmm. technique is what matters mm -hmm. so you can go and put your technique there yes. but i'll still preach to them mm -hmm. and tell them why are we going to d do these songs yet we can just lift up our hands and worship jesus yes. so let them see that jesus in you because jesus in the world when mm -hmm. he came he he said, uh, uh, you don't take people who are well to a doctor, yes. right? He yes. dined with tax collectors yes. and prostitutes and yes. such people. Absolutely. I'm not saying they're that. No. However, I'm just bringing it to the modern setting where we yes. are at. This, yeah, this, uh, the, 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 the scriptures. Yes. yes. And what better place to minister to them in their passion? Mm hmm I mean, if you just uh, go and, and, and tell them what Jesus is about and let them see the Jesus that is in you first. Mm -hmm. So I usually tell my artists, first of all, if you're not ready to do whatever song I give to you, I'm sorry, we cannot work with that. Dynasty is governed by Bible and Christianity. So if you're not comfortable with that, it's been real, mm. we'll be praying for you. Mm. And I know you'll come back and you'll give us a testimony. Yes. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That's very profound. Yeah. Because... Um, <laughs> It speaks volume as far as your spiritual maturity is concerned, a 
actually because very many people would waver it's true we mm -hmm. all need the money the fame the networks you know and and just the exposure out there true and you see it's the world mm -hmm. so the world will embrace what's his that's true you know um oh it's has mother so it's <laughs> yeah so it will embrace what's has mm -hmm. however us as christians we know we are here but we are thorn in the flesh because this is not our place exactly. so it's for us to be able to ensure that god's presence is actually manifested through us that's true and i i admire that about you because you've passionately vindicated yourself come on i noticed that there's a god inside me mm. then there's something wrong there's something wrong with, with me. your anointment yeah yeah that's yeah. That's, that's that's so true <sighs> it's so amazing <laughs> i really want to continue as in it's just so intense <laughs> this lady is so powerful y'all um my director we need to have this lady come back again so we can be able to pick because yeah me uh, it's just intense, but we have to actually come to the end. Mm -hmm. I hope to God the few nuggets that she has shared with you have made a difference in your life because they have. Many of the times as Christians, we are quick to judge one another. We are quick to bash one another. True. Why is this one, you know, mingling with the, you know, non-Christians, you know, why? But at the end of the day, she has sent a very important message home. Question yourself first. Is your anointing working? Is God, you know, felt through you? Mm. So that even while you're there, you do not conform to their ways. But they actually see there's some peculiarness about you. And what would that be? That's where now you testify to them. True All that. right. So we are going to set you free for now. <laughs> so because I know the seat is very, very hard. So you can be able to go ahead and, you know, uh, wrap up uh, the session mm -hmm. uh, with another song. Okay. But then I promise you we will be, be able to call you back again. No worries. Very I'll soon. be back. Yes. So <laughs> what's cooking before we leave you? What's cooking at the moment is to Mm -hmm. It's a, a cover I did of Travis Green's song, You Waited. Yes. It's a beautiful song. I yes. love it. That's why I did a cover for it. Yes. Um, uh, we have more music coming along. I know there's one song that everyone has been waiting a video for. Asante, it's coming, guys. It's coming. Yeah. So, yeah. All that's right. where we are at. But we're we'll waiting. ministering. We're waiting and we're standing with you in the gap. Thank you. And, and, and it's so amazing. God loves... Um, uh, his people and very and the, the whole idea is he he he's a very jealousy god yes and he loves the people that actually honor him and that's the reason why he created us mm -hmm. and and for me um as jc circle show would just want to say we are standing with you thank you any any minister out there who <laughs> is spreading the word of god we are definitely standing with them Amen. but for you particularly uh because we know that mm. it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy you're dealing with oh you know goodness, these upcoming easy. artists who have all these visuals and mm -hmm. ideas that they have mm. and they have to realize <coughs> turn it down turn it down start from here and here Brief. so yeah <laughs> may, may god <laughs> add you more and more passions Amen. grace mercy and favor be your portion Amen. and more so wherever you go as long as you're in that booth or you're with that um, artist and or you're somewhere ministering, may he, you know, just have a mark of excellence on Hallelujah. your forehead. Amen. Wherever you go, thrive, mm. sister, Hallelujah. for his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I take that my portion um, today. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. So social medias. Social media. Uh, handles. Of, of, uh, uh, Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Yes, Twitter. Uh -huh. Facebook, Facebook page. Yes. Lydia M. And we everyone forgets the M. I know. So Lydia M and Dwiga, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lydia and Dwiga. Please uh, go to my SoundCloud. There's a song that is there that maybe many people haven't heard. Lydia and Dwiga still. So Lydia M Dwiga for all my social media. Then mm -hmm. YouTube and SoundCloud is Lydia and Dwiga. Dwiga. Yes. All right. So, so. Nix, I believe yes. you're ready. Yeah, we're ready with the uh, Subiri. That's the cover song. Yes. It to bless Sana. It's all one right. song Pia Penda, and uh -huh. I love the cover too. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> All right. So Thank you so, so much. Thank you for yes, I look forward wonderful. to having you again. Oh, yeah, we should. All right, we should cool. Have. All right. Okay, so, thank so. you. <laughs>